I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. I I worked for good, when I came out of school, I had a good job with a good company. I, you know, had a company car. Somebody's got to meet yourself there. Okay. Um, and um, I still hated it. I hated punching a time card. I hated that I had to be at work on Monday and work on Friday. I had to, I hated going to meetings. Being being able to work from my home here in my my office, not my this is a dedicated office uh, that I had built. I love being able. I can get out in the morning, take a run. I can come here, work with you guys. I have about six seven appointments today. I can take a nap at four thirty. I'm going to a fundraiser tonight to save the trout. I have all this freedom. I don't have to ask permission except for Claudia, of course. Um, but uh, the free the the operative word to me, the entrepreneur mindset is freedom. I can do what I want. I can, I can make more money than I think anyone would in the right mind would pay me. Uh, what does it mean? What is it? What is, what is an entrepreneur? The mindset, what do you think has to be the mindset to, to do the things that we talk about here every Monday? I think there's, I think there's two things. Um, for me, when I first got started, I was like, you know, being able to make money and, you know, create your own income. But I think the bigger things, like you talked about, there's two things is one is the freedom to control your own schedule. And the other is just the freedom to be able to do what you want, when you want. That, that is the free, uh, freedom is the only word that comes to my mind. And, and just to be able to do, you know, to, to be able to do what you want to do, to, to, to sell something that you're passionate about. How important is passion in the entrepreneur mindset? Nicole, what do you think? It's vital, <clears throat> right? I mean, if you're not passionate about it, that's going to come through and people are also not going to be passionate about what you're saying. Can you, can you be successful? Can you be financially successful? Can you be personally happy if you're not passionate about the product or service you're selling? I wouldn't think so. I, it's hard. It's hard. Anybody here ever fall in love? I mean, fall in love. Okay. Remember Betty Lou in the third grade? Remember your kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Green? I first, after my mother, that was the first woman I loved who wasn't related. Okay. This, PS 152. Steve, you know where that school is, man, Upper Manhattan. <laughs> and you remember when you fell in love? Who did you think of morning, noon, and night? That person, right? Andrea, Go Andrea Goldman, PS 104. Oh, see, see. <laughs> where is she today, right? No, don't, don't Google her, it'll break your heart. <laughs> but the thing about it is, do you have to have that passion to have that entrepreneur mindset? I want to get back to that. What makes, what makes us meet here every Monday? Why are we doing this when other people are, are eating donuts and, and waiting in line in a Starbucks or, or at a job in a cubicle or sitting in traffic. Why are we here? What do we have that's a little different in our DNA? If you're, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, then when you're trying to be that influential uh, person, you, don't have, it, you come across as you don't even believe in your own product. Do you so when you, have, pro when you have passion, it comes across in the way you talk to people. Do you think the prospect can sense a phony? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why, why do prospects say, um, call me in a couple of weeks, I'm busy right now, send me your material, take me off yours. Why do prospects say that after we give that brilliant million dollar presentation? Because they need time to pack to get out of town so you won't call them. Right. But, <laughs> but what's going on in their head that you're full of it? Yeah. Okay. Now, what do you want? What, what'd you say, Glenn? i say now, I mean, like, when, I, I would say it's not just about passion, but it's also you want to convey certainty that what you're offering, you know, that energy of certainty needs to be conveyed to the uh, prospect. Otherwise, they're going to have a sense of doubt. They're going to have a sense of, you know, I don't really believe what you're saying and you're, you're full of it. You know, you know, what's the difference between Claude today and Claude when he first started? When I first started, I would eat crow all day long. I would, whatever I had to do to make a buck. I, would, I mean, I ate a lot of shit. Uh, I, remember, I remember that, Claude. <laughs> you remember that, Claude. You knew that, Claude. And 
Today, I can actually go to prospects and say, Mr. or Mrs. Prospect, I know you want to get off the phone and maybe I don't believe you, but you're probably making one of the biggest financial mistakes of your life. Can we talk for another few minutes because you're going to have regrets when you get off the phone and you're not allowed to think about it. Do you know how much chutzpah you've got to have to talk to people like that? You know how much chutzpah you've got to have? (laughs) What did you say, Glenn? Say that's a, you got to have a lot of cojones. Cojones, muy grande cojones. <laughs> you got it. But today, I'm a little, I'm in better shape financially, okay? I don't have to beg to every person. And that's where you want to be. The entrepreneur mindset is to get yourself to such a point that you can tell your truth all day long. You don't have to do the price goes up on Friday. Do you guys listen to these other gurus on, on YouTube and stuff? I hear so, I'm, I'm saying bullshit too much today, excuse me, ladies, but I, I hear so much garbage. And I know if I heard a salesman say some of the garbage that they're teaching out there, I'd say, this guy doesn't care about me. He's just saying what he thinks he needs to say to, 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 to manipulate me, to get, a, to get my money. I, want, I, want, I would rather speak to people honestly. And even if they don't buy from me today, at least they know I'm a righteous dude. I'm going to tell the truth as I see it. And I think that you can, I think I built up a business based on that. That's the entrepreneur mindset. When you get to a point where you can tell the truth to people and not just give them the, um, the scripted speech. Go, let me turn this over. Go ahead. What do you guys think? What, do you, what else do we need to have that entrepreneur mindset? Cyrus? Go ahead. I believe along with passion, to make passion work, there has to be a belief in what you're doing. What do you mean by belief? Give me, give me, go, um, go, go deep for me here. What do you mean by belief? For me, that means that I believe in my product. I'm not selling you snake oil, but I'm selling you a product that is going to benefit you in some way. Okay. And maybe that's real estate. Maybe that's a service. Um, but if you believe in your product, okay then you will have passion. If you don't believe in your product, I don't believe you're gonna have passion. Or if you do, you're faking it. Yeah. What happens if the, pro- what happens if the, if the prospect sees that passion, that enthusiasm in your product or service? Do you, do you, do you, believe, you, get, do you believe you blow away your, do you blow away the, pro- um, the competition? Yeah, they, they want some of that. Whatever you're, you've yeah. got, they want it. They want that secret sauce. Don't we all want some, you know, back to that old cheers. We want someone we know, someone who likes it. Claudia and I went to a restaurant with our English friends this weekend, okay? And I especially wanted to take them into my favorite little steakhouse restaurant. We walk in, you know, Claude, Claudia, how are you? Oh, these are our new friends. Oh, wonderful. I'm going to give you a good table and everything like that. And every, then we're, you know, we're still on our salad. And he sent us a round of drinks for free. Do you know how cool that is when you're there with your friends and you're in a busy, busy restaurant? We had Jazz Weekend here. We had thousands of people in this town. We had Boys to Men here in Winter Park. Anybody ever, what a phenomenal group. Anybody ever hear Boys to Men? They won yeah. a Grammy. Yeah, uh, I used to perform their songs. Bro, what a, what, a vo- what a sound those guys have. Oh, man. It's go- oh, man, it's, bu- it's music. It's, it's, it's fantastic. And this was in an outdoor thing, a couple thousand people and everything. And we got into a restaurant. We got a table when it was real busy and they treated us. I like that. I like that. But I think, you know, we have to have that mindset where we're going to go out there with enthusiasm. We're going to talk to as many people as possible. We're going to, this is my oxygen. This is entrepreneurship. This is, uh, I don't have to punch a card. I don't have to punch a time card because I'm going to work eight days a week anyway. I'm hey, going to do this stuff because I love it. Go ahead, David. It's, it's like you always say, you know, when you're doing your videos, what does, what does the person want? How do they want to be treated? And you give them what they would be looking for as a salesperson. You know, you're giving them what they would want as a customer. How do they want to be treated? And you treat them the way you would want to be treated. Treat them. Fun. You, always, treat them you always say that. You always say that in a lot of your videos. Yeah, it's if we keep giving and giving and giving, and then we have the right to ask. Mm-hmm. Then we have the right to close. 